So the latest transition I want to show you guys on After Effects is to play around with some RGB flashes. This one's super cool, I actually use it all the time and I'll usually use it in conjunction with another effect just to make it really, really stand out and have that kind of weird color changes going on. So let's just crack straight on with it. So we'll just quickly make our composition and throw our graded clips in there and then offset them the amount we want to transition. Then what we want to do is we want to select the top layer and go to effect and add shift channels to that layer. Then at the start of that composition, just go through and keyframe all of those different red, blue and green color channels. So I tend to do this frame by frame. So what I'll do is I'll select the first frame and I'll say choose red and I'll select full off. And now you can actually see it's taken all of the red out of that image. Then we'll hop over to the next frame and we'll turn red back to normal and say we'll do it to green. So we'll take all of the green out of the image. And then again, we'll do it with the next keyframe and we'll do it with the blues. Now you can see that over the course of these three frames, there's these really, really stylized, like crazy colored shots. But because they're playing back so fast, it just kind of looks like this weird effect that you've put on. But to be honest, I'm actually still not happy with the transition. I think it could look a lot better. So what I want to do just to make it even weirder and even more confusing to the audiences is I'm just going to add some rotations in. So I'll keyframe initially the first one just so it's normal. And then the next frame, I'll stick 180 degree rotation into the frame. So it's essentially flipped. I'll then go and set the next keyframe again to zero. So it's completely normal. And then the keyframe afterwards, again, I'll flip it by 180 degrees. And now you can see that I've done that actually now, as well as the colors changing so drastically, the image is just constantly flipping upside down all the time. And it just kind of gives the transition a bit more effect. Now, to be honest, usually I wouldn't leave a transition here. As I said, I would actually often use this RGB stuff in conjunction with other effects, but I just wanted to show you guys what you can do with the RGBs and then you guys can play with it from there. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to keep up to date with more of the After Effects videos that I'll be doing, remember to hit like and subscribe on the channel and thanks for watching.